That's gonna be problematic. Yes. Ooh, we've unlocked uh, Miura. Oof. A uh, complete Yuki Takamiya's Girls with Red Glasses event. Hmm. Pretty sure we've already done that. Oh yeah, we have a we have an unlock with X thing. I hate to focus on the same characters over and over again, but I think I will. Yep. Uh Ooh, you have a copter mode. Ouch! My back. It felt like I was inside a washing machine. That freaking inspection hatch. Definitely don't recommend. He hit my butt so many times. Uh, how in the... How am I supposed to get down from here? Continue ladder. On the front. Oh. The thing I used to get up here in the first place. Just the thought of slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. BJ, are we? We made it back, right? It is 1985. A robot as big as this. I can't believe it's capable of time travel. Alien technology sure doesn't disappoint. So I'm guessing she eventually just used the Sentinel to come back. Wait, where's Miura Kun? Yeah, I guess that checks out. You mean he's somewhere out in the city right now? That's not good. What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. All right. Oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? He's like, nope. We need to get the fuck yeah. out. Okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? Not you know. Right. First things first. Let's get you in the bag. Yoink. Okay, let's go. Seriously? Again? I'm sorry I have to lock you up, BJ, but those men in black are still wandering around. Let's go to the gate. Okay. We need to get out of here before someone sees us. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to go get the bag. Hmm? Hmm. My notebook's not in here. All right, that has the continuity that Yuki has that. Oh, yeah, I guess if we were missing for a few days would match up with the fact that we couldn't time travel back. I guess that's where this would be going. Always with this dude. We're clear to go. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Forgetting something. 
But what? I forget it. Didn't seem to be any interactables or anything. Anything in here. Do they want me to come into contact with this guy? Hey, stop. No, it's fading out, so that means no. I must have to think about something. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. My research notebook on Alien. Where did I put it again? I was writing in it during class today. Oh yeah, I took it to the audio-visual room. Crap. I totally left it there, didn't I? Okay, I guess that'll unlock the location now of the audio-visual room. There we go. I gotta get my notebook back. Ah, uh, yeah, got it. All right, Minami, listen up. All top secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put them somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on them. Right, you got it, boss. I know, I know. To the gate, right? No. I've detected an unfamiliar signal. It's coming this way. What is it? Unable to identify. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Oh. Leave this area now. Uh. Oh. Usami? That's the other Usami. No. Whoa, what the uh, heck? uh, you almost hit me. Out, out, no, no. What's going on? Why is you saw me? Oh, what? So she's an imposter? No, it's an android creation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. What? Those evil aliens are after you, so they made a robot to track you down. Where are we now? I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. There's nowhere to run. Not helping. It's too late. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Okay, time to leave. Uh, into a skull. Well, well. Please don't make me use force. Just do as I say and come out quietly. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? Huh. I thought number 17 was gone. God damn it. But its signal led me here. Now that I've found 426, I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. You're awfully dramatic for a machine. And I'm awfully strong, too. Uh. Well, his body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever be in this sort of violence. Knowing who you were. I guess in your heart is just a machine. You're a monster yourself. 
No respect for me. Whatever. Makes it all easier. <laughs> now. a robot. It looks just like Usami. What are you doing here, Tamao-san? And this. Did you do all this? Matthew, stay back. Hey, don't jump out like that. He's also an android. Created in Tamao Karabe's image. She's a robot, too? I'm the one who called her here. However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. What? Also, isn't Karabe, like, Juro? Or one of his name? Stay back, Yachio. <sighs> I didn't expect you to be here, too. You raccoon. You're... I see. You switched bodies. What? Rachino. Rachino. Oh no. BJ! BJ? Say something! Don't worry. He's not broken. What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. I've come for you, Natsunomi Nami. What? Those monsters. The ones that destroyed the city? They have a new commander. And it's you. So, starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. here. Alright, get back in the bag. So, like, the fight happened and somehow they switched minds? Alright, that's fine. Ow. I've seen that before. I've I seen Captain Ginyu. Stands. Ooh, we, we've done 50% of your story. Alright, well, we can keep doing stuff with you, but I probably will not. We still don't have mystery points or anything. I guess we'll do someone else now. We've unlocked an A. Sekigahara thing. You know what? Yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> we could only continue that You're with the sure context of what we just saw. Here. Positive. I did see them earlier in the morning. But I haven't seen them at all this afternoon. Do you think they left? I seriously hope so. If a random stranger like me is seen on campus, will that be a problem? Oh, I don't know. Will it? <sighs> but you 
shouldn't worry, especially with that uniform. It may be from the future, but it's still a Sakura High uniform. So you don't have to feel like a stranger. So tell me, what's Sakura High like in the future? In the future? Well, there should be a new building up and running. Should be? Yes, you'll see it for yourself someday. Uh, no fair. Is anyone just allowed to enter the nurse's office? Well, there's no teacher there, so it's closed right now. <sighs> Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. you hello yori what's up hey sami chan what are you doing here well he wanted to check out the school so i'm just showing him around hmm. uh, oh cool yep anyway we better get going all right see you later Yeah, these two. Should we go check them out? See what's going on with these people? That had to be her. The girl who delivered the message from myself. Oh yeah, that did happen. What? Nothing. Is something wrong? Uh, no, I'm fine. Must have been my imagination. Alright, back to back to work. Taking locks, I guess. Uh, check the drawers. These drawers are locked up tight. What are you looking for? Medicine, oral and M. Hmm. Can't consider it. All right. Yeah, well, we've checked both. I managed to borrow the key to the nurse's office. Oh, okay. And all I had to do was lie to the teacher. <laughs> Please, my classmate skinned her knee. <laughs> you're you're a little dipshit. I appreciate it. Oh. What's wrong? Well, um, it, it's just the two of us in here together, all alone. Ah. Uh. Uh. Hmm. These drawers. What are you looking? Are you looking for something? It must be really important. Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk, and it's probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay, I'll make up another excuse. Then I might be able to get my hands on it. Oh, you sure are useful. Take a look at these student medical records. Ryoko Shinonome. Looks like she was given C0204. Hmm. Alright, let's use oral NM on that. Morimura. She's been administering this drug to these students. Ryoko Shinonome. There are more. Shu Amiguchi. And Juro Izumi. Huh? That was quick. So. Ah, it's Megumi. The nurse's office is closed. Come back when. <laughs> oh boy. You better start talking. Those men that are after me. Are you working with them? 
This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? A uh, cool moment. Sekigahara, wait! Don't shoot! You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? Hey, Megumi! <laughs> you out of sheer curiosity but what in the world just happened with Megumi not a thing and you're wandering around by yourself where's the Ori <sighs> what's your problem well clearly I'm just a hopeless busybody <sighs> I'm going to look for Megumi Yeah, this is rough. I guess we wait around, or maybe we could leave. That girl with the braids. I know I've seen her somewhere. But where? Damn it. Come on, think. Ah, let me That's recall. Right. The lights are still on. Maybe this place isn't entirely abandoned. Yo, look at this place. This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. This all looks like research data. Ah, here we go. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. So, this is a Shikishima facility. Current year is... 2104? I've shifted 40 years into the future. Alright, so you're in 20... 2064 then. An android. Is that what this place is being used for? <sighs> what the hell? I keep getting these terrible headaches. Could it be from shifting? Uh-oh. Oh, fuh <laughs> fuck that. This fuck that. <laughs> no. Another one? Uh. No. Oh. The lights are still on. <laughs> <laughs> Examine this. They get fucking goes for twenty years in the future. Oh. oh. No. Huh? What the fuck do they want from me then? Android, Android. Over here. Oh, I just have to wait in the middle. Thank you. Unless you want to die, you should stop snooping around. I guess this explains why you had the bandage the other time we saw you. You're the, you're the Android version of her. The surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> I inspected the Sentinel that was transmitted underground. How much do you understand about the current situation? I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. I have no idea what happened. Then allow me to fill you in. I'll start from the end. The Sentinel, or you, rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD426. Code DD4... What is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nanomachines in your body, to be specific. Its main function is to sever a portion of the nanomachine. The part that's cut is physically connected to the brain. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. <sighs> you can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. 
Is that why I've been getting these headaches? I've had them ever since I got here. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nanomachines is restricted. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. How long... how long do I have before I become a husk? Depends on the intensity of the infection. Or how much time you spend inside the infected sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. To spread to your entire body, it'll take about a month. That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few days. A few days? I may not be able to remove it, but there is a way to delay its effects. Fortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. It's nothing complicated. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nanomachines can use it. I have to ask, what's a young girl like you doing in this place by yourself? Ah, uh, I see. The androids here are wrapped in a human-like skin, just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? You should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. Is that so? So? How does my offer sound to you? I don't really have a choice. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. <laughs> 